last topic that we are going to take today is QS World University Ranking. Now why QS, QS World University Ranking is Kwako Rally, Kwako Rally, uh, Simons, this is QS Kwako Rally, Simons World University Ranking. It is Kwako Rally, Simons is basically uh, uh, a private entity it, which provides insights into analytics into the global higher education scenario okay so and this cockerelli simmons it publishes the annual ranking of higher educational institutions on by making assessment on specific parameters like academic reputation employer reputation faculty student ratio citations per faculty citations means when a, a person publishes a research paper how many times his research has been cited by other researchers okay international faculty ratio and international student ratio now that report has been recently published okay and isc bangalore isc bangalore has become in 2023 isc bangalore has become the first मतलब हाईएस्ट स्कोरिंग यूनिवर्सिटी इन इंडिया एंड मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंटली आईएससी बेंगलुरु स्कोर्ड अ फुल हंड्रेड ऑन हंड्रेड इन रिसर्च सेक्टर ओके द एमआईटी मेसाचुसेट्स इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी वर डिक्लेयर्ड द यूनिवर्सिटी फॉर द फर्स्ट बेस्ट यूनिवर्सिटी फॉर एलेवेंथ टाइम एंड द सेकेंड प्लेस वेंट टू यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ केम्ब्रिज थर्ड वेंट टू यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ स्टैंडफोर्ड ओके चाइना हैज ट्वेंटी एट यूनिवर्सिटीज अमंग टॉप फाइव हंड्रेड विद Six universities within hundred, Peking University getting the rank twelve and Shinghua University at fourteenth. Okay, now India's IIC Bangalore, IIT Bombay, IIT Delhi, IIT Madras, IIT Kharagpur, IIT Kanpur, Rudki, Guwahati, Indore. These are the universities that have been placed under the top five hundred. India's seven universities, I guess, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Including ISC Bangalore, seven IITs and one ISC Bangalore, and then all these universities have been placed below five hundred. <clears throat> okay. Indian Institute of Science Bangalore has emerged as the highest ranked university institute. Uh, Indian Institute in two thousand twenty three. Okay, IIT Bombay is the second, and IIT Delhi is at the third place. There are only other Indian institutes in global league of top two hundred in continuation of the trend since two thousand seventeen. Total number of Indian institutes among top thousand were has increased from twenty two to twenty seven. According to the indicator, CPF indicator for Kokrali Simons, uh, ISC Bangalore has secured a hundred on hundred for score for research university and it has become world's top research university. Okay. Now that becomes um, that brings us to the challenges in the higher education sector in India. Gap between supply and demand. The gross enrollment ratio is only up around twenty six point three percent. Okay, gross enrollment ratio is the share of the population at that age which should be in higher education to the amount of the people who have been who are actually enrolled in higher education. That is twenty six point three percent. Okay, student faculty ratio is low in most of the state and central universities. More than thirty position of faculties. <coughs> are lying vacant okay while the student enrollment rate is higher is growing but the faculty the enrollment of faculty uh, the recruitment of faculties has not kept pace with the higher increasing ever increasing student enrollment okay quality of research work of course there is no shortage for funding but the research work that is being produced in india is uh, not very globally recognized okay <coughs> that brings us to the very important institution of eminence scheme that was announced in 2016 the budget of 2016 for higher educational institution to become leading in research and teaching but after even after the five years of announcement the performance i would say is not up to the mark io scheme was started in 2018 it is being implemented by Univers university grant commission under which 20 private universities and 20 central government or government universities are to be accredited 
द स्टेटस ऑफ इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ एमिनेंस ठीक है वंस एन एन इंस्टीट्यूट यूनिवर्सिटी इज ग्रांटेड द स्टेटस ऑफ इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ एमिनेंस तो दे विल बी हैविंग अ लॉट ऑफ फाइनेंशियल एकेडमिक एंड एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव ऑटोनॉमी ओके तो गवर्नमेंट ऑल्सो गवर्नमेंट इंस्टीट्यूशन विल गेट अप टू रुपीज थाउजेंड करोड इफ दे गेट द स्टेटस ऑफ इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ एमिनेंस दे विल बी दे विल बी हैविंग फ्रीडम टू फिक्स द चार्ज फिक्स एंड चार्ज फीस फ्रॉम फॉरन स्टूडेंट्स विदाउट रिस्ट्रिक्शन फ्रॉम यू जी सी दे विल हैव फ्रीडम टू रिक्रूट फैकल्टी फ्रॉम आउटसाइड ऑफ इंडिया दे विल हैव फ्रीडम टू मूव ऑफर ऑनलाइन कोर्सेज प्रोवाइडेड दैट द ट्वेंटी परसेंट द ऑनलाइन कोर्स कैन नॉट बी मोर देन ट्वेंटी परसेंट ऑफ द टोटल कोर्स वॉल्यूम ओके तो आई होप आई बिलीव दिस इज द एंड ऑफ द लेक्चर टूडे एंड इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन एंड क्वेरीज काइंडली रीच मी आउट I'm always available in the comment section. Thank you.